Driving in Greenville has always been a talking point for those who take to the roads. Now there's a study showing just how bad it can be. Nine of your sides, Brandon Truitt joins us now. Brandon, you're talking about a report from the NCDOT. Ken and Shayla, every year the North Carolina Department of Transportation monitors traffic trends of cities and counties who submit information. The most recent study shows Greenville to be the number one in the state for accidents, with two other towns in the east rounding out the top 20. For some, driving through Greenville can be, well, a little frustrating. The North Carolina Department of Transportation ranks Greenville as the number one city for crashes in the state. Greenville experienced nearly 15,000 vehicle crashes in 2017, taking into account driving population, severity of crashes, and other factors. Other towns in our area include New Bern in 19th and Wilson sitting in 20th. Pitt County itself stands in the top 10 worst counties for wrecks. We're talking about a wreck involving this car. The top of this car has just been absolutely knocked off. Time and time again, Nine on Your Side has reported on wrecks within the city. Take a drive around and you might notice some small changes along the roads. There's red light cameras installed at five key intersections designed in part to cut down on the number of T-bone accidents. Left turns are also a concern for some city drivers. Take the NCDOT project along Fire Tower Road. The design will eliminate left turns for safety and improve traffic flow. They may be able to take a right and go down a couple of hundred feet and make a U-turn where they're only looking at traffic from one direction and not from both directions when they're trying to cross four lanes. The Greenville Police Department is planning to take action. The department announcing Tuesday it has formed a new traffic safety task force consisting of different groups like NC Public Works, ECU, and the DOT. The Greenville Police Department is taking the public's input. Now, they posted something, a status on Facebook today. We want to read some of the comments from that post as well as some of ours. Here's what Greenville Police said today. I want to start, though, with a comment from Steve Rogers, who gives, gives us a list here. One, slow down. 60 miles per hour in a 45 mile per hour zone is ridiculous in his comment on Greenville Boulevard and Memorial. Two, get off the phone. Three, get off the phone. Four, stop tailgating. And five, get off the phone. We'll go now to Nick who leaves a comment saying all of you have this wrong. Our main problem is traffic flow and constant congestion. To put it in simple terms, it's big town traffic with small town roads. We'll end tonight with Charlotte who says medians on all four lane roads with designated U-turns like on Fire Tower Road. Ken and Shayla, that is certainly something that the police department was talking about adding as we mentioned that project on Fire Tower Road there. And you mentioned the red light cameras in your piece. How effective have they been on cutting down on crashes? Well, I asked that today to the Greenville Police Department. They said it's hard to tell because they won't get a full update until the one year mark when those cameras were installed. We'll look for that coming up in October. All right. Thank you so much, Brandon, for that report.